Good morning, everyone. I'd like to provide the community with another update from Mayor, Council, and City staff about the COVID-19 pandemic situation. Council and City staff continue to work with the province, Interior Health, and our local physicians to put measures in place that will protect and provide comfort to the residents of Revelstoke. We continue to work in our emergency operations center, again working in conjunction with local agencies to make sure all the needs of the community are addressed. We continue to monitor the local situation daily and are prepared to take action if required. The city is continuing to work with the province on a plan to offer facilities to meet the needs of our community, again, if required. As I've stated before, our community is working together to protect the health and safety of our residents, and I'm really proud of all of our efforts. The attitude that we are all in this together is still an appropriate statement and even more significant as time goes on. In my communications with Interior Health and our local physicians, it is important to understand and hear their perspective as well. It is very important to understand that we need to continue to hold the line and not let up. We know that we are starting to fatigue and especially those of us under significant financial hardship and we don't know how long we can hold the line, but we must for the health of all of us. Some physicians feel that they're not the front line in this battle. They, as healthcare workers, stand in the back. They are the last line of defense. The front line of this epidemic is you, the people in our community, tasked with the challenge of keeping each other safe. The history of public health is a story of prevention. Public health is about preventing larger problems before they happen. It is everyone's responsibility to continue to follow the government regulations. And again, I repeat, practice social distancing always, which means physical distancing, two meters or six feet away from each other, equivalent to two arm lengths. Stay home as much as possible. Avoid walking in large groups. Exercise alone or with members of your family. Use the green belt to exercise, not socialize. Wash our hands and keep our homes wiped clean. And again, stay home if you're sick or showing symptoms. I would like to reassure you that locally, an extraordinary amount of work has gone into preparing Queen Victoria Hospital and aligning our limited resources to provide the best response we can. Each department has worked in cooperation to prepare for what may come. We need to thank all of our support staff at Queen Victoria Hospital that truly keeps the hospital running from housekeeping through to maintenance, the kitchen, medical records, administration support, as well as all the allied health providers. Our physicians also remind you not to avoid your routine health care. It is okay to see your doctor via video or telephone appointment for all your health care needs. You can also use the virtual walk-in clinic. If your doctor tells you to get some lab work done at the hospital, it is safe to do so. It is safe to have your baby at the hospital. If you need to get prescriptions filled, do so. We need to make sure our mental health stays well. Don't be afraid to reach out to each other using technology. Again, we must not become complacent. Our social distancing actions now will help get back to normal sooner. We must continue to hold the line. In City Hall, staff continue to work at home or following social distancing guidelines if they're working in their respective offices. The development services team are working hard to keep on top of things for our development community through the intake of building permit applications using an online platform and through email development services at revelstoke.ca. The city is working with contracted building officials to adjust the building inspection process to, su to support a remote approach to align with public health requirements mandated by our province. This will give the option for contractors to continue with their construction projects through the use of virtual inspection. 
This proposed policy will be before council for consideration at Wendy, Wednesday's special council meeting. Bylaw enforcement officers have been deemed essential by the province to provide support with respect to orders issued by the provincial health officer. They will come continue to provide education about what is permitted and gather evidence of non-compliance. Our officers have been out in the community and are pleased with the majority of our community that they are following the orders, so thank you. As I mentioned last week, Council adopted a financial bylaw that offers some relief to commercial businesses by amending utility billing due dates from April 30th to two equal payments due on July 31st and October 31st, 2020. The city continues to request the province consider amending the legislation to push back the property tax due date and consider waiving of all penalties as well as pushing for a relaxation on the requirements for the tax deferral program. The Director of Finance is also review reviewing options that the city may be able to provide to the residents using our own bylaws. I have seen a number of requests for me to announce a number of cases of COVID-19 in Revelstoke. The province does not provide this data to municipalities in an effort to protect privacy. How we, however, we know that it is here and we all need to act accordingly. I continue to acknowledge all of the non-essential businesses and services that have closed their doors and recognize that this is not an easy time, emotionally or financially. Please know that you are all saving lives and helping to slow the spread of the virus. The city is working with the Chamber of Commerce, Tourism and Community Futures, as well as our MLA Doug Klochok and MP Rob Morrison to provide business owners with the information to help them access emergency financial help, as well as to prepare for their recovery. As more assistance springs up, please avail yourselves of whatever assistance that you can. Interior Health appreciates the passion and commitment of our communities wanting to help health care providers and patients through non-cash donations and supply offers. They are overwhelmed by the generosity of our community and offers of homemade surgical masks, cookies, and other food products. Due to their strict safety standards and to minimize risks to our healthcare staff, they are unable to accept those offers at this time. I've been asked what residents can do to assist our healthcare professionals. To ensure that any non-cash donations, personal protective equipment, PPE, medical supplies, and any other donations meet safety and infection control standards, are appropriate and are appropriate for the care of our environment. I'm asking, or, and pardon me, I'm assisting IHA by directing public and local community offers to the following link. And this link will be in the written portion of my message. There have been rumors that I'm taking a leave of absence. That could not be further from the truth. Council has placed Councillor Chalette as acting mayor for the next three months as this is the prudent thing to do to make sure that the city will be able to carry on business with a certain amount of continuity. She will also assist me when the mayor is called upon during concurrent events. As warmer weather approaches, it is harder to keep our family members, especially our kids, inside. Please remember that Revelstoke is doing such an amazing job following the provincial health officer's orders to say to stay safe and to protect each other. And that means we need to be extra vigilant to keep our children safe while we are outdoors. At this time, we need to keep doing what we have been doing. Stay home. We cannot become complacent if we wish to keep safe and healthy. Keep up the good work, Revelstoke, and thank you for what you're doing.